given set A, we're asked to find the power set of A and then also determine the cardinality of the power set. The power set of A is the set of all subsets of A. Remember, the empty set is a subset as well as a proper subset of every set. And finally, the cardinality of a set is the number of distinct elements in the set. So to begin to form the power set of set A, we begin with a set, and then within that set, we have all these subsets of set A. Let's begin with the empty set, and then we'll list these subsets that contain one element from set A, which should be the set containing one, the set containing two, and the set containing three. Next, we'll form the subsets of A that contain two elements from set A, which should be the set containing one and two, the set containing one and three, and the set containing two and three. And finally, we have the subset that's equal to set A, which is a set containing one, two, and three. So the set containing all of these sets is the power set of set A. Notice while two is an element of A, it is wrong to write two as an element of the power set, since none of the elements in the power set are numbers, all the elements are sets. So it is correct to write the set containing two is an element of the power set of A, because the set containing two is a subset of A. And now let's consider the cardinality of the power set. Again, remember the cardinality is the number of elements in a set. In this case, all the elements are sets, but there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets in the power set, and therefore the cardinality of the power set is equal to eight. I hope you found this helpful.